So today we're going to replace brushes on the electric motor on a Bosch front loading washing machine. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this metal panel off of the back. I've already taken a majority of, uh, of the bolts off. There's uh, probably more than there really needs to be. So go ahead and take these uh, remaining three bolts off real quick. Then we'll be able to pop it back off. Be careful with all the hoses. And be careful you don't cut your hand. Set that to the side. Okay, so once we pop it back off, we're able to see in here into the motor. And so you can see the motor's mounted on the bottom. Uh, and then we've got a, a belt kind of up the large flywheel. So what we're going to end up doing is just um, we'll be taking the, the motor off the bottom and then we'll take it at disassemble it and then we'll uh, replace uh, the brushes on the motor. All right, so one of the most important things is going ahead and unplugging um, the washing machine so you don't get electrocuted. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take this, uh, the belt off the back. So the trick is just to kind of pull it over to the edge and just kind of gently roll it around with the flywheel and come off. It will be stuck around uh, the spring. That's fine, just kind of leave it in place. Right, so next up, we're going to go ahead and uh, take these two bolts out. They are 10 millimeters. side okay, after that we need to go ahead and pry uh, this motor loose from where it's mounted and so screwdriver to do that right here on the side. I'm just going to get it between uh, the frame, the mount on the motor and on the housing for this drum and get it in there and just kind of pry it, pry the motor until it slides out. So this is probably one of the more difficult parts of this task is actually getting the motor loose. Alright, so I got the new set of carbon brushes from Amazon. I've bought quite a few of these over the years and I um, really like this set because uh, the tail wire on it is longer and lets the spring be fully extended and uh, hopefully what that'll mean is that the um, brush will last all the way till the end whereas some of the ones that are a little bit shorter don't last that long because the wire's so not first long. we'll go ahead and do the easy one uh, which is here on this side so basically what you want to do is you're going to pull uh, this clip off then you're going to push this down pop it out all right, so we're going to go ahead and pull it out. Okay, and so the spring will come loose, and then you basically just slide it. You don't want to, want to pull it slowly. That way you can see uh, the angle. Um, so you'll see the angle here. Uh, so it's longer on uh, the top 
uh, or the left side uh, versus the right side. So you'll be able to see that there. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and I'll put the other, the new one in the same way. So I'll go ahead and slide it in. I'm going to use a screwdriver to slide it into place. So you just got to kind of wiggle this thing around until you get it all positioned. The spring is going to want to get caught on the edges, um, which is a little bit of a pain. But eventually, you get it all situated down in where it needs to go. And then you'll push the bottom in, push the top in, and you will slide it up. And then you'll go ahead and clip the wire back on. All right, so this other side's um, a bit more of a pain because uh, everything is in the way. So you end up having to uh, take this wiring harness off. So once you've got that out of the way, go ahead and take the clip off the end of the brush. So then we can go ahead and pop the brush out. And this one, uh, the longer side happens to be on the right. And you can see basically how worn out this is. We'll go ahead and slide the new one in. We'll use a screwdriver to help stuff it down. And then we'll just wiggle it. into place so then we'll stuff the one side of the clip through stuff push the top down and then we will slide it up and then we'll put this wire back on So, all right, so that looks good. And we're going to go ahead and put the wiring harness on, back on the same way we took it off, like so. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and that we've got the brushes replaced. Go ahead and maneuver the motor back into place. And we're going to go ahead and put it back on the mounts. So, I'm not going to touch the bolts just yet. So now we're going to plug it in and make sure that it will spin up. So on this one, it's put it off, put it to spin, and then hit start. And then we'll see if the motor spins up. So right now it's just draining, and then in a moment, it'll start to spin the motor. It spins. All right, so now that the motor's spinning with the brushes replaced, go ahead and put the belt back on. Um, so um, go ahead and put it in the grooves, and I put it all the way to the outside of um, the motor. And then just put it on one side and then basically just quickly spin it around. Let's see that it's spinning just fine. 
for a quick $10 part. Uh, brought the motor back to life instead of paying $260 to replace the motor. So it saves quite a bit of, uh, of money and it really doesn't take all that much time uh, to replace the brushes in the motor. So here it is, spinning at full speed. I've done this a number of times with, uh, with this washing machine and uh, each time I've done it, uh, I've done it a little bit differently. Definitely highly recommend replacing both brushes each time. Uh, just because if you don't replace both, you'll end up having to do it sooner. Um, and um, sometimes if you replace just one, the next day it's broken again and you have to go in and do it again. So it's just worth doing both of them brand new each time. So, so, so let it run uh, through a whole spin cycle just to break in the brushes. At the end, it does a bunch of turns back and forth, back and forth. And I think that also is probably helping. Uh, it to be fully broken in so safely without cutting your hands go ahead and put the back back in place um, I tried to open this up a number of times to do the brushes over the years and uh, to replace the drain pump um, I decided uh, to put three screws on instead of the 40 screws that are on there 